I just saw the, the quality of life that came from growing food, like the kind of physical and health benefits of, of actually working outside and tending, you know, gardens. It's not, you know, like you're not, you're never like exhausted uh, when you're doing it, but at the end of the day, you sleep like a log. You know, you know, it's not like you're kind of going to the gym and going like this for an hour, but after a whole day of it, you, you know, you eat your dinner and you're just like nine o'clock, you're like, like this, uh, and then you're up at five. Uh, and I, I just really enjoyed that. Uh, and then so I kept doing that for a bit and got a better handle on growing stuff. Uh, and then realized I still can cook, which I thought was an essential component of it as well. You know, it's, it's all good to grow it, but then you need to be able to prepare it to, to kind of feed your, your community. Uh, so I took on the chef's trade, uh, which uh, gave me the skill, uh, but also was the antithesis of, of what I wanted from cooking, I, I figured. So I, didn't, I, I did my trade. Uh, which I never qualified for because I just refused to do you know, the assignments because I was working at one of Australia's best restaurants at the time, which was a food So uh, the kitchens are one of those great trades where the paper means nothing. Yeah. You know, it's like a really, you can say, I'm qualified and I'll know within a, a one shift, probably the first 20 minutes of that shift, whether or not you're any good at your job. Yeah. Uh, and so I guess to, like in, in terms of this is, is advice for kids uh, and young people is that if you, if you do throw yourself at something, uh, and you find something that you want to do is go and immerse yourself in it and suck it up. And, you know, I did, you know, two, two years of 90 hour weeks getting paid 400 bucks take home. Uh, you know, it was the most unglamorous thing I've ever done in my life. I was exhausted. I was destroyed physically, mentally. Uh, but the skills that I learned were so amazing and they really set me up where I am. And the discipline that I learned were, was incredible. Uh, and if I had to just, you know, my friends were out partying and they were doing Friday, Saturday nights, I was doing services in the best restaurant in the country, you know. And uh, the skills that I got from that brief period of sacrifice really put me where I am today. Uh, and, I mean, you don't have to go, there's not many industries where you have to go and work those kind of hours. But if you do want to succeed in a field, uh, identify people who are doing it really well and just latch on doing work for free work as an intern just for a brief period of time you know if you if you compare that to say university study uh you know you might look at it i used to think of it like this i was doing 90 hours a week i was getting paid 400 dollars a week i just i looked at that as i was studying at the oxford university of cooking and i was actually getting paid to be there there was no hex debt there was no anything i was i came out with zero debt uh, but i came out with a qualification in my field that was every bit as prestigious as a diploma or a, or a bachelor from the best university in the world mm -hmm. uh, so and that really got, opened a lot of doors so that sacrifice although it was really difficult at the time was really really worth it for, for kind of future benefit um, and then i guess in terms of further career advice for kids is just be, good, be a good person. <laughs> it's really as simple as that, you know. It's uh, just be nice. Know, be nice. Be <laughs> nice. Be polite. Show up on time. If you've got a job, do it. You know, don't complain about it. You know, it's um, actually doing your work with enthusiasm and, and being a, a nice person to work with, and you know, kind of bringing joy to your workplace is uh, is really the, <laughs> doesn't matter what field you're in, you'll do well. If people, because you know, every kind of business and job and company and any anywhere where you apply is generally a part of a community there's not very many people out there that that work in true genuine isolation uh, and I can guarantee you that that nine times out of ten uh, the job will go to the person who fits better into the ecology of the work structure than the person who has the highest skills you know if you're if you're an asshole <laughs> and you but you, you're really good at your job but there's someone who's pretty much as good as you but they're really nice they're going to get the job every single time yeah. hands down so so i guess uh to, to kind of distill all that or to abstract it is that don't feel like you've got to go through the traditional system you know it's i think the the find what it is that actually you get joy out of and just find a way to work it just stick at it you know it's if wealth creation is is what you're after go and study finance and become an investment banker like yeah <laughs> If, they, if you want to be rich and wealthy, that's the number one way to do it. Study finance, do investment banking, guarantee you'll be on 200,000 bucks a year out of university, uh, but you'll be miserable. Okay. <laughs> you but know? do you want to be happy? Yeah, yeah. You, you, but you won't be happy. Uh, yeah. If you want to be happy, find a community that shares your values uh, and work with them. You know, work for community benefit, not individual benefit.